Hi guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury Channel. Quick wrist watch, wrist watch check. I'm wearing the Zenith. Okay, guys, I'm doing paid reviews. This is for Dustin. Hi, Arch. My name is Dustin. I am from Chicago, Illinois. I'm in my mid-30s, and I instantly became a huge fan after stumbling upon your channel. I think you were very entertaining and sincere as well. I've sent you 30 bucks a couple of months ago regarding getting the Grand Steak Oak Snowflake and the Peacock. Thank God you haven't done the paid review because I totally changed my mind about the Grand Seiko for at least, at least for now. I ended up getting a Batman. I only waited 11 days after going to the AD. After getting the Batman, I became, I instantly became addicted to Rolex and wanted more. I got lucky again and was able to get a Sub Hulk in just a month after getting my Batman. I'm now on the quest for both stainless steel black and the white dial, hoping my luck will continue and not wait three to five years for them. Anyway, my ultimate plan is not to get too greedy, but I do want a total of seven to eight killer pieces at some point. Hypothetically, let's say I have the stainless steel along with the Batman and the Hulk. The other four I'm thinking about are a Yachtmeister, Reference 116622, Grey Dial. New Pepsi GMT on a Jubilee. That's the steel. Omega Speedmaster, man on the fucking moon. And lastly, a Patek Aquanaut Travel Time. Let me know if you have other recommendations. I've sent you another 50 bucks. Hoping to hear from you soon. Stay healthy. P.S. Whether people love or hate you, no one can deny that you are entertaining. Therefore, you are doing your job. Thank you so much. Fuck me, Dad. Huge fan, Dustin. Wowzers, Dustin. And I think just Dustin, we got to slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Rolexes are fucking expensive. We just want to make sure we're not going too crazy on credit cards. How are we paying for these things, Dustin? I mean, just be careful. With a watch collection, we need to build it slowly. We need to build slowly we slowly build it because if we move too quick we get ourselves into financial trouble and we need to sell the whole lot off when the bricks come tumbling down so just i'm not having a go at you dustin i'm just saying just make sure you're moving at an okay pace because I don't want to see you hurt, okay? So, <coughs> I must say, you got a Batman and you got a Hulk. That's two killer grail Rolexes. They are grail pieces. They are grail pieces, fuckers. Grail. Grail, fuckers. Grail pieces. So, um... Uh, you're waiting for a steel Daytona. I don't think they'll be coming that easily, but hey, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Um, let's look at your choices there. The Yachtmeister. Urgh, I'm not a huge fan of the Yachtmeister. I don't know whether you need it. It's basically... A gentleman submariner. It's for the yachting set. Unless you've got deck shoes and a convertible BMW, scrub that one off your list. The new Pepsi GMT. Yeah, that's a fucking cool watch. Yes, very, very hard to get. That's, 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 that's hard. Very, very hard to get. Then we got an Amiga Speedmaster Man on the fucking moon. Yes, sirree. That's actually quite easy to get. And we can get that on the grey market from Joma Shop. So I would certainly give that a certain big shout out. Yes, sirree. I would do that. That's what I would do. I would definitely... Um, Amiga Speedmaster, that's a cool piece to get. And it's also reasonably, I mean, I know it's not cheap. They're not cheap watches, but 
It's more affordable in the range. And lastly, a Patek Aqua tra uh, Aquanaut Travel Timer. Fuck! You've got expensive taste. Um, I can't fault it, man. I can't fault it. I can't fault that at all. You love those pieces. Um, good on you. Good on you indeed. I think, Dustin, the thing is, you've got to buy what makes you happy. If those pieces make you happy in this world, man, go for it. Who am I to say, don't do it? Rolex is very, very safe buying. You buy Rolex, that's... I, I cannot see Rolex... Um, you know, it's, it, it, the prices are getting fucking high, but if you can buy these pieces, power to you, indeed. Um, all I'd say is, you know, just just don't put so much pressure on you. That's a lot of money. I don't know what you do for a job, uh, but that is a lot of fucking money. So, um, just, you know, don't put too much pressure on yourself. Normally, one of those a year would be more than enough that's what i'm trying to say i, I possibly you know i i reckon myself with your collection why don't you instead of getting the yachtmeister maybe a tudor black bay i reckon a tudor black bay i got the burgundy maybe a black blue or burgundy would be a beautiful addition there gives you a little bit of variation and the tudors are a bit cheaper they are a bit cheaper uh, instead of the Pepsi GMT, why don't we get, well, we can get a Pepsi, get a Tudor Pepsi GMT. That's what I'd be doing. It's just to, you know, we don't, don't want to keep it so fucking expensive. I mean, I don't know what you do for a job, Dustin, but that's a lot of fucking coin. It's a lot of coin. It's a lot of money. And, you know, we don't want to get ourselves into financial trouble. We want to buy these things and we preferably don't want to put it too much on credit card we can put a little bit on credit card I, I, i've done it time to time but we gotta be sensible i think um man you got two really cool grails the batman and the hulk those are watches people would fucking have an industrial accident to get i would say uh add a a, a tudor black bay Nice burgundy would be give you a bit of color variation. Get the Tudor Pepsi, Tudor Pepsi GMT. Uh, again, it gives us a bit of variety. The Amiga, that's that's a good one. I, I think the Amiga Speedmaster is a fucking amazing watch. Fantastic movement. Uh, one, it's got the one eight six one movements. Great. That's a highly regarded watch. Manual wind chronograph. Beautiful, beautiful. And a Patek, I think every man should have a Patek Philippe. Um, it's not for me to criticize your choice. The Aquanaut is gorgeous. I love the Aquanaut. Uh, and the Travel Time Aquanaut, fuck! Expensive. Very, very... They're, they're not, no Patek is cheap. So, uh, I, I I wish you well there. I wish you well. I'm just saying, mid-30s, just, just, just... Don't have to have everything tomorrow, you know. You've got you've got to be grateful. Uh, I mean, if you've got if you've got two kick-ass Rolexes already, man, fucking be grateful. Be grateful. Enjoy them. Uh, just, I think sometimes us men folk we want to build a collection so fast. We just we do anything. We get ourselves into trouble. We put enormous pressure on us to have it. We've got to have this perfect collection. We want this. <coughs> and we should say, hey, just slow down. Let's add slowly. We don't have to have it finished in a day. It can take a bit longer. We can take our time. So my honest advice to you is to just slow down a bit. I want you to slow down a bit and just... Nothing wrong with building a good collection fast. If you've got the financial means, power to you. But I I honestly think you don't want to put yourself under enormous pressure. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. These are only material goods. Uh, just, just, just take it slowly. I just don't want your dust and burning. Too many people jump in. They gotta have this, gotta have that. Then they get so fucked off with the hobby. They get out. That's 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 not what I think is a 
successful way to go. So, uh, man, I'm just careful for you. I don't want you putting pressure on you. You know, you got two kick-ass Rolexes. Be grateful, man. I'd probably add the uh, the Speedmaster, Amiga Speedmaster, Man on the Fucking Moon first. Add a Tudor. Just slow it. <coughs> slow it down. Don't put so much pressure on yourself. And uh, life's good. Life's good. Life's good. So there you go. Quick wrist watch check. Fuckaroonies, I'm wearing a Zenith today. And fuckaroonies, tell me what you fuckers think of that. Tell me what you lousy fuckers think of that. Tell me, fuckers. What do you think? Like, subscribe, tell your fuckhead friends, and don't forget to put some nasty comments down below. Fuckaroonies, fuckaroonies, here are six watches I've been offered. They offered to put my name on the dial. They offered to make it exclusive to the Archie Luxury channel. They'd do anything to climb into bed with me. And I said no. That's right. I said no. Oh, and don't forget, fuckaroonies, like, subscribe, and tell your fuckhead friends. And don't forget to mention the Archie Luxury Travel Channel. That's where I'm doing live shows, fuckers. Wow.